Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pens and today I have one that was sent to me on loan from a subscriber named George and thank you very much for sending this pen. This is a Narwhal Key West in uh, Key Largo Blue and it is a stunner, a really great looking resin and well-made pen. And so I'm going to share this with you, tell you what I like, what I don't like, give you measurements, do a writing test, all that great stuff. Let's dive right in and get into this pen. Okay, so the Narwhal comes in what I think is a pretty cool box. And of course it has a large Narwhal, which is a whale, lives off the coast of Greenland and Canada and Russia, cold water mammal this one is, uh, that of course has that famous tusk, which is basically a, a large protruding uh, canine tooth. And it reminds me of some of the things that I like in nature. Uh, I like it when there is an animal that just seems to be made from spare parts, kind of like the duck-billed platypus, and this, this kind of reminds me of that to a lesser extent. But cool animal, great inspiration, I, I like that. So one of the things about this pen company is that it was founded by two pen enthusiasts. I always think that's a great start, and uh, they make their pens in-house and they make their nibs in-house and I think that's very cool too so let's let's look at that pen and get to that nib it comes in this leatherette pouch which is a nice touch as well to help take care of your pen and it comes in of course when it's shipped in the plastic sleeve that so many pens come in okay and then you see an absolutely fantastic resin for this pen. Let me get that in focus so that you can see that glitter that is suspended in that turned resin. Just a great looking pen. Now when George and I were communicating, one of the things he said he thought it would be cool if they would actually make the clip look like that tusk. And who knows, maybe in an upcoming pen they'll listen to you and do something like that. That might be pretty cool. And let's go ahead and let's look at that clip. It does come out from the pen a good bit. You can see why if you look at it vertically instead of horizontally uh, because then this is kind of plumb to the center line of the pen. And it has a good stiff spring. That seems sturdy to me. And then you come down to this band which has a nice kind of an art deco like uh, trim to it really I like that it seems to be well made and then just a very simply designed a uh, cigar shaped pen because really the star of this pen is the resin now that they do also offer it in uh, a gold colored kind of reminiscent of sand on an island I'll put a picture up of that as well both pens look quite good, but I am, of course, as you might guess, kind of particularly uh, fond of the blue. So let's open this up. You have the, the pen and the cap, and I will say the walls of the resin are not overly thin, so they haven't hollowed that out too, too much. I think that's a good thing, I think, for longevity and uh, maybe a little bit less delicate reasons. Uh, I think that's good. I have not experienced any dry out with this pen as I've used it, but I've also used it pretty constantly since I put ink in it, so it hasn't had much time really to dry out. I do like that the section is the same resin. I love it when they go to that slightly extra expense of doing that rather than just a, a plastic section. And so that is, is good looking to me. The metal threads are nice and broad so they are not at all uncomfortable when you are gripping the pen and they're far enough up the sections long enough that's just not really much of an issue there is a slight you can see it there i think a slight step down but that has never been anything uncomfortable or anything at all not at all let's look at that nib now one of the things that narwhal has in their favor, I think, is that these are in-house nibs, and I like the nib. First, I like the design. It has a narwhal as the logo there in the center, just below the breather hole. It has some nice scrolling 
on the the nib is a number six steel nib, which I like. There's something about a six that it's long enough that when I write, uh, it, of course, it puts your grip farther away from the paper, and I just find that to be kind of a, a sweet spot for me. Your mileage may vary, but I think that's why I like a number six steel nib as much as I do. And you will notice this is a medium, and it has a generous amount of material at the tip, and that is good. This is a well-ground nib. It is, uh, George, you're gonna like it, I think, a very smooth, quiet, just glides across the paper. Uh, today, I was writing notes on just a normal spiral uh, paper uh, that some pens you'll hear, some pens will kind of sing across it. This pen, very, very smooth and very quiet. You'll see that in the writing test. But I like how much material they have included here. Uh, it, it's made for a great nib. I really do like this medium nib. I can't speak to the fine. I haven't written with that pen. Uh, if you have, if you have experience with that, you might mention that in the comments so that others can uh, get that input. But the medium nib, <laughs> it's a keeper. Really, really nice. So let's take the barrel off here. As you can see, that comes off and reveals this metal part of the section and 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 it came with a converter. Uh, this is not aftermarket, it comes with a converter and that's when you look up their pins on the website they are quick to tell you that yes it does come with a standard converter so there you go you gotta like that if you like cartridge and converter pins then uh, this would be the narwhal for you. Some of their others if you like pistons they have some piston filler pins and you might want to check those out as well but this one is cartridge converter and it's included okay so I have filled this pen up with Waterman Serenity Blue and one of the reasons I did that is because it's not my pen and that is a well-behaved ink it also does suit the color of the pen nicely uh, but I'm gonna clean this up and send it back to George so I wanted something that, that really is as well behaved and that's a, a good standard blue ink now it does come off let's see here in one and a half turns so that's a positive in uh, in a lot of people's book and it does post securely and is well balanced I think yes this is a narwhal in case you missed that <laughs> and the model name is the Key West this is Key Largo blue and keep all of that straight you're doing well and this is a number six and it's a a narwhal nib this is medium as I said it has a lot of good material on the writing tip and uh, you can you can see that here I'm gonna be quiet and you try to hear this I've got the air conditioner running because it's Texas and it's June Just very quiet. And I just find it's a really great writer. Very comfortable pen. It reminds me in this grip, and I haven't I haven't compared uh, the specifications on it to see how similar it is, but the grip section reminds me very similar in feel to the... Uh, Pen BBS 480, which is, uh, of course, a, a Schaefer-inspired uh, design, but it has that similar feel. That 480 surprised me with how comfortable a pen it is, and I really like writing with that pen. It also has a number six nib, and uh, so this this reminds me of that a lot. Even though they're not, you know, the same design or anything, they're the feel is is similar. That may help some of you know a little bit more about the pen. Now, I'm going to kind of test it for wetness here, although I was just talking. So, doesn't that surprise you? It writes. You would think, looking at it, that it is really writing just a very wet line because that medium nib has so much material, it spreads it out, kind of like some broads, and it's actually not that wet. You would, you would think that it was. It's kind of deceiving that way. But it does, even being that dry, I'm just going to go fast because I don't... 
I'm talking and I can't think about the words. Uh, very, very well. You see, it keeps up really quite nicely. And so I really like that. So, okay, let's talk pros and cons. I think you know right off the bat, I like this resin. The blue is just a beautiful shade of blue. Uh, the uh, glitter, and I'm usually not a glitter person, but I do like it in this pen. The nib. I really like the smoothness of this nib. I'm impressed by it. And it's well ground. I, I hope they're all like this one because I think if so, they're going to have a lot of, of pleased customers. And... I think that the price is, uh, let me actually, I was going to say price, but let's do this and make that a V. I think it's a, a good value. Uh, again, uh, it is $55 MSRP, and I know that for, for many, they're going to, woo, really? Uh, yeah, but there are so many pins in that price range that are uh, kind of underwhelming. And this one, I think, gives you what you're. I think it's. I think it's worth what you're paying for it. I do. Uh, in the same way that I think uh, pin BBS pins, uh, even theirs that are in that range, are very much you know uh, worth what you're paying. I'm a big fan of theirs. Um, I think this pin make me may make me a big fan of uh, of narwhal. Is, are there any cons? You know. I'm going to say this, uh, the the cap posts reasonably securely. Uh, it doesn't post very deeply. I'm just going to put posting and uh, if you're listening with the sound on, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, the posting could be deeper. I think I would like it if it was, unless, you know, it would change the design of the pen, but it just would, it would be even more secure and I would like that. Um, Let's see. Anything else? I did notice, actually, I didn't point this out earlier. There are maybe just a couple of places, uh, kind of right in here, and uh, I forget where the other was, where maybe the polish just needs just a touch more buffing. It's not hazy. It's not unpolished, uh, but it just seems like kind of maybe it was a hard spot to get to. I could see where it would because that, that bell shape there, is a little more pronounced than on some other pins in their sections. And so kind of right in there, there is that. So uh, maybe Narwhal, and I, I haven't seen enough of these pins in person to know if that's, you know, totally normal. My guess is that it probably is. Uh, but there was that. But, you know, I mean, that's that's pretty nitpicky on my part. But, you know, that's, that's there. Maybe just a little more buffing. Again, I'm having to look for things not to just absolutely like. I want you all to know, you know, not just it's not all just a, a, I don't do a Pollyanna approach to pretty much anything, so it's it's not that. Uh, but th there was that. Check this pin out. If this is something that you like, if you or if you like that golden sand colored one, I would definitely check these out. If you'd rather have a piston one. Then they don't make this in a piston model, but Narwhal has some, and you might want to look at those as well. They're equally uh, reasonably priced. So check out the Narwhal, Key West. And George, thank you so much for sending this to me and letting me borrow it for review. Uh, it's been a pleasure to do so, and I think you're really going to like this pen. God bless you all, and have a great week.